I don't get as much of a bond as our keepers do. Um, they're obviously the ones that see them the most. Um, but certainly there's about five animals in the zoo that I see a lot of. Uh, and yeah, you do, you do learn to love them a lot. So yeah, very close. As for conservation, I think it's very important to try and keep what we have got left in the wild. But at the same time, it's, it's dying out there. So we need, we need the zoos to, to keep, keep the animals going, really, in a way to reintroduce them back into the population outside, outside of the zoos. Zoos put the con into the word conservation because they try and hoodwink the population into believing that the salvation of endangered species lies in warehousing bright, intelligent and sensitive animals, when in fact quite the opposite true. The only way you're going to protect endangered species is by protecting their natural habitats, keeping them incarcerated in what is to them tiny prisons, enclosures with bars, uh, depriving them of all that's natural to them, keeping them away from being able to raise their families to hunt, to forage, to run, uh, doing things like that is not going to help them in their natural habitats. We need to spend the type of money that we're spending on gorilla enclosures and tiger enclosures in London and actually buy park rangers and jeeps and fences that are going to help these wild animals in their natural homes because at the end of the day, the, the paying public can go home, but these animals can't. They're kept and managed nicely. It's it's educational for others, and we can. Yeah, learn I think it's good. Yeah, it's good for the kids, obviously, to learn things like this because they won't always get the opportunity to go places like this to see animals kept like this. So yeah, as long as they're kept well. Some countries are not, so it's not too good. But yeah, Marwells does does it really well. So yeah. Uh, I think the environment looks good here. They've been doing a good job in providing them with a natural environment. So no, I think it's good to protect them. We are students. Recording yes. behaviour. Yeah, and, and then you've got like say a description it. of the behaviour. So like standing, in, but then you've got like say standing in a certain place for a certain time and stuff like that. We actually want to learn to how you know animals behave. We can watch documentaries and we can learn like you know reading or even you can go to different areas or habitats where they actually live. But there's no need in any case to put them in cages or enslave them and gain profit from them. We've uh, done several investigations inside uh, zoos and our findings and in most places if you actually look at other investigations from other organizations are neglected animals, animals with stress, uh, stereotypical behavior and where basically you're trying to show or educate people where animals uh, come from or what their natural behavior is but uh, it's very difficult to show natural behavior of animals when they're like uh, captive within a cage so if you're trying to show a lion in the wild uh, savanna for example it's very difficult to demonstrate how that lion is going to behave if he's locked in a four by four cage you can find out so much more about animals on the internet now by virtual IMAX movies than you ever can by staring at them uh, behind a glass screen or behind bars that tells you absolutely nothing about what these animals are supposed to be doing in their natural environments. You don't see them running, you see them quite listless and depressed. There's something called uh, zoocosis where these animals get a psychological and physical disorder from being kept in captivity. You see them incessantly pacing, you see them biting the bars, uh, you see them developing signs of neuroses and it's all because of their treatment in captivity. They're not allowed to do what they do naturally. Then You can't take the wild out of uh, wild animals by keeping them locked in a cage. see signs of stress or um, distress from any animal and I think yeah they all seem pretty happy living here um, they get everything provided to them so it's a pretty nice life I think for most of them yeah I believe that they're, they're happy living here.